you know, if you had to pick a game that um, you think Bemidji State gets fired up for in, in all sports, St. Cloud would be the one, you know. And um, but it's a uh, it's another game where we're gonna do everything we can to be as good as we possibly can. And um, it seems like it's always a physical game. It seems like it's always a intense game. And you know, hopefully it's that case again. Mm -hmm. Um, of course, every game's big, um, especially this close at the end of the year uh, with playoffs coming up. Uh, not only for seeding, but just to have you know good good run going into the playoffs is huge too. So seeding, we try not to worry too much about it because we know we don't have complete control over that. Uh, what we do have control over is you know how we play Friday and Saturday night. Like I said earlier, I felt like we had a lot of juice, mm -hmm. you know, and even just getting a couple of guys back in the last few weeks, you feel like you have a lot more juice out there and. Um, you know, uh, I definitely feel like we're a, a really good team when, when healthy. And uh, even down one guy, I still like we're a pretty dang good team. All year long, we've had confidence, uh, not only with the injuries, but just lost so many close games that could have, uh, I think, ended up with three overtime games right in a row, which if we just even get a couple of those, our record looks a lot better. And with the injuries, uh, that, of course, hurts too, just not having all our players. Um, so we, you know, we're real confident going into the postseason for sure. Even if our record doesn't, you know, quite show it. You know, obviously talented play players. I mean, Jaw, if he would have been healthy, in my mind, you know, would have been a first team All Conference guy. And um, because of that, you know, maybe maybe he's not going to be because enough teams haven't faced him. I think a lot of teams know who he is and what he's all about. But um, that's probably a difficult once so you feel, you know, feel a little bit, you know what ifs with uh, with him but special player special kid and then Bader has just been a model of consistency throughout his career again you can't get a uh, thousand points and 600 rebounds without without doing that and uh, you know he's done it with his play he's done it with his health I think he takes care of his body well I think he's enjoyed the weight room over his four years and um, you know that's a big part of it and uh, you know just great guys great guys to coach